right immediate reaction to Adrian Broner. A.B. ain't boxing. Adrian Broner, what are you doing? What are you doing? A.B. ain't beating nobody, right? I mean, really. Okay, look. I mean, uh, all right, here's my immediate reaction. You guys know I just kind of free flow this and just, uh, you know, just kind of throw it out there. Whatever I think is, is whatever I pass on to you guys. Now, let me go back to my prediction. Now, I had Adrian Broner winning a unanimous decision. And I think if he would have made one simple adjustment, if he would have did one simple little thing different, he probably could have won, maybe would have won, or it at least would have been a competitive fight. I mean, look, here's the thing. What is the definition of insanity when you, you do the same thing over and over and expect a different result, okay? You can't go out there round after round after round after round after round after round after round, after round and do the same shit over and over and expect something to change, okay? Okay. I mean, um, you know, what a disappointment. You know, Adrian Broner talking about how he's up training in Colorado, you know, and this is going to be like a career, a career defining uh, performance. You know, he's going to put on a show and let you know why he is at that elite top level of uh, boxing. But really just just the opposite happened i mean look let's say you didn't know anything about adrian broner what would you what would you make what would you th you know think of it? how would, like how would you walk away what would you walk away thinking tonight i'd walk away thinking like oh man like let's say i had to go tell my friends about it i'd be like i don't know man there's a guy in there named broner and he just like jabbed he's just like Threw, threw a couple of jabs and then maybe a right hand, and that was really it. You know, I mean, really, that would be my take. That would be my impression of Adrian Broner, okay? Uh, but, man, it really depressed him because, you know, I know he's got a lot of talent, you know, and I'm really shocked here. I mean, you know, I'd say it's maybe like upset of the year, to be honest with you, because uh, – it, it, you know what it reminded me of? It reminded me of, of like a Tyson Fury Klitschko. Like, you know they have it in them. You know they can do it, but it just didn't get done, you know? I mean, like I said, not one single fucking adjustment through the entire 12 rounds of boxing, okay? But, um, okay, now I did write down a few notes that I was going to use in a later video, but, but you know, let me just, we'll get into, we'll get into it now. Okay, let me just, I'll kind of read through what I wrote, all right? I wrote, uh, you know, Broner, not taking any chances. Mikey Garcia, always in position. Now, that's what I liked. Mikey Garcia, man, uh, you know, talk, he, he is the fundamental king, okay? Uh, the fundamentals of boxing, he is the king. And, and you can tell that's from being born and raised in and around a boxing gym. I mean, he's got them fundamentals down fucking pat, okay? So, um, you know, I was really impressed with, with the fundamental boxing uh, out of uh, Mikey Garcia. So, I mean, really. But like I said, any I think, I mean, any if he, if Broner would have made any adjustment whatsoever, I really think uh, he, he could have broke through to Garcia. Like, it was just crazy to me. Like, he, he did nothing. He did nothing. It's like he was just on another planet, you know. But uh, now, <clears throat> earlier in the rounds, each guy throwing about 40 punches. Now, it's really low for that's, you know, for the division average. And the commentators brought it up. It's like that's about half of uh, what they normally throw, you know, for a divisional average in the, in the earlier rounds. I mean, it was a pretty kind of a boring fight. Like I said, every round was pretty much identical, right? Uh, Mikey Garcia's power, I wrote down, didn't seem to carry up because he didn't, he, he never hurt Broner. I mean, it, this was weird. Like, he wasn't hurting Broner with any of the shots, but yet Broner wasn't trading, you know, in the pocket or, you know, he would just, you know, flick his jab, get in, get out. And and, and I noticed the jab, the way Broner was throwing the jab, it was like he was knocking on his head. Like you throw the jab out there and like, knock, knock, you know, like you're knocking on someone, the top of someone's head. It was a jab and he kind of knocked the top of his head and pull it back. You know, hit him, hit him on top of the head, pull it back. You know, it wasn't really to like split the guard to set up the right or, you know, anything like that. It wasn't really... You know, he wasn't throwing the jab with the intention of following up with any other punch. He was just like throwing the jab. I mean, because it was just, just like a, it seemed to me like it was just a natural thing to do, I guess. You know, it just didn't seem like he had any kind of plan at all. You know, it just seemed very uh, out of it in there, just out of it, you know. Uh, like, uh, what's his name? Charlo said Adrian or Broner didn't show up. You know, he said, yeah, he just didn't show up tonight. 
Okay, um, and I wrote down Broner not making any adjustments. Uh, and here I wrote Adrian Broner doing the same thing every round, but expecting you know a different result. Right, just said that. Uh, then I wrote Adrian Broner looks fa uh, fast, flashy. Mikey Garcia looks, you know, very fundamental, okay, and that was kind of like, you know, if I could describe each of their styles, it'd be like this really fundamental guy against this kind of a flashy, you know, jabber, pretty much. Round seven, um, what did I write here? Round seven, Broner has lost every round. <laughs> oh, damn, I wrote that down. Yeah, and then, by the way, at this point, at this point, you know, I wrote round seven, you know, Broner has lost every fucking round and uh here let's see let me get to that score yeah here's round six we'll leave it right there for a minute um and i wrote you know if broner turns it up he can hurt mikey garcia so here's what i don't understand you know you got broner you know undefeated at, at light welter you know mikey garcia moving up in weight but which by the way was weird i don't know why mikey garcia looked so drained you know you got a 135 uh, pound fighter moving up but he looked incredibly drained making 140 like i you know basically he should have looked you know, uh, like he looks on fight night, typically at 135, you know what I mean? So, because he would typically rehydrate at 135, he'd rehydrate to around 140, 142, 34, whatever. So it was weird seeing Mikey Garcia just so sunken in and drained at, at, at light welterweight. But, um, I wrote, you know, Mikey Garcia looks flat, tired round seven. And he did, you know, right around seven, <clears throat> you could tell that Garcia, you know, he was getting tired. You know, he was, uh, you know, flat-footed, kind of slowing down on his punches, you know, kind of winging his shots a little bit, you know, kind of gassing out. And right here, now look, this made me think of Canelo Golovkin, keys to victory. What did I tell you guys in all of my videos? More volume, okay? More volume, 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 volume. You know, let your hands go. Be first. Be active. I mean, here's the thing. Like, it's like we're in a new new age of boxing. Okay. I mean, it's, I think a lot of these guys like they want to win like this amateur style like point system, you know. But now all the judges care about is is who is letting their fucking hands go. It's like you don't even really have to connect all that hard, you know. Like like uh, Abel Sanchez calls Canelo a slapper. Well, guess what? That slap is going to win him around if Gennady Golovkin is going to stand there and not counter and not throw back them little them little pop 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 you know slap punt they're going to they're going to win rounds okay so you know that's the thing more volume needed now this was uh Showtime's their their keys to victory you know prior to the fight and uh you know obviously you know Mikey Garcia was the more active boxer but right here uh Farhood had it uh 63 70 you know, for Mikey Garcia, basically, I mean, I think, I mean, if you want to give Broner one round, I mean, look, like Garcia dominated, okay, I'm not trying to take anything away, but, uh, you know, I don't know, I'm not trying to take anything away, but I didn't walk away feeling really impressed with Mikey Garcia, like, oh, wow, you know, to me, it just seemed like, like Broner just didn't show up, like he just didn't show up tonight, like he was just here to get a check, maybe it was like a like a retirement fight. I don't know man it's like he didn't show up like I don't so I don't know what what Mikey Garcia would look like against like a Terrence Crawford you know for example um you know he just uh he just didn't show up I mean he's pretty much and I wrote down in my notes by the way I wrote uh I wrote Pacquiao Claudie it just reminded me of Manny Pacquiao versus Claudie where Claudie just like stood there to be hit you know just stood there to get hit uh, now look at the punch stats right here okay Broner here, let me move my little clock. Okay, and you can see 74 going into the ninth round. Okay, total, these are total uh, landed punches. Okay, Garcia, 149. Now, of course, you know, obviously, you know, Garcia, he's, he's beating him right there. But, again, for a divisional average, that's not a lot. You know, it's not a lot. So, I mean, you had a very inactive guy, Broner, and then, eh, you know, a kind of active guy, Mikey Garcia. Okay, so, um, 
And let's see, what else did I write here? I wrote, uh, yeah, Mikey Garcia thrown 130 more punches in round seven. I don't know what the, I don't know. I can't read my own writing right there. But I wrote, uh, round eight was a great round for Mikey Garcia. Like, I think round eight was probably my favorite, my most uh, favorite round, uh, round eight. Um, and then again, I wrote, I wrote <laughs> Claudi, uh, Cla Joshua Claudi, Manny Pacquiao. And then I wrote Adrian Broner, jab. Uh, I wrote jab, right, run, jab, right, run, because that's all he did. You know, and then I wrote WTF, what the fuck, take a risk, right? I mean, so I'm like writing this in my notes, like take a fucking risk, okay? Uh, <clears throat> then I wrote Mikey Garcia, good counter punching, and then I uh, wrote Adrian Broner turns it up in, in round nine, and he did. Like I said, round nine, well, eight was a great round for Garcia. Round nine was like the only time you know, uh, Broner made any kind of adjustment and he had a little bit of success. You can see, okay, it's like he made, you know, a, a minor, just a little, a tiny minor adjustment. And, you know, you, you could probably give that round to Broner, possibly. Okay. Uh, I, I just don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand what happened. You know, uh, is it, <clears throat> And you know, I could, I, and you could say, well, you know, kind of like look at look at Mayweather Pacquiao, right? I mean, a lot of people will tell you, well, you know, Mayweather he made Pacquiao look that bad. You know, it wasn't anything wrong with Pacquiao. It's it's just how good Mayweather is. You know, so is it? I mean, is it how good? Is it the same thing right here? You know, is uh, Mikey Garcia that good that he makes an Adrian Broner look that bad? And I you know, I don't think so because, like I said, I didn't see anything. You know, I don't know. I didn't I didn't see any kind of like a level elite boxer here. You know, I just saw a very fundam fundamental boxer, you know, fundamentally sound uh, type thing, you know, in Mikey, uh, Mikey Garcia. But um, OK, AB turns it up da, da, da. and then I wrote round. Um, Round okay, going into round ten, okay, uh, total punches thrown was two hundred and ninety one and then five hundred for Mikey Garcia. So Mikey at that point, going into round ten, Mikey Garcia had already thrown, you know, like basically like two hundred more punches than uh Adrian Broner. So I mean that kind of shows you, you know, the the activity level. But uh, Okay, and then I put um, second time Mikey Garcia has even gone 12 rounds. That's another thing. And, and you notice, like, one thing, you know, that, that really any, any – and I'm sure any boxer, any, you know, future Garcia competitor will take note of is Mikey Garcia. He never hurt Broner, not even close, never hurt him, never, never buzzed him, anything. Um, and I wrote Mikey Garcia thrown 91 punches in round 10, which, you know, that's about average, 91 punches round 10. Uh, then I wrote da -da, AB's glove to present counterpunch. Oh, let me end it here. Okay, one thing that I liked, okay, and I've actually done this, you know, in a boxing match, okay. Whenever Mikey Garcia will throw the jab, what I like, okay, so imagine your opponent is right in front of you. Okay, you throw your jab, but he would land it on Broner's right hand to where he couldn't counter with his power hand. You know what I mean? So if you go back and watch, which really is it's not legal. So but he does it he does it quick enough that he that you know he can fire off a quick shot and then let go. But he'll throw the jab and basically hold Broner's right hand. You know what I mean? Like hold his hand and then throw his right and let go. So that way, you know, Broner can't he, he can't fire off that right hand. You know, and, and another thing, you know, why was Broner, you know, in that turtle shell defense? I mean, usually he's got that shoulder roll going. So I kind of wondered that, too. Like, why, you know, why was he, he? I mean, it was a different defense. I mean, he had, you know, like I said, that just, you know, that Philly shell up or whatever. And and he just looked different. You know, everything looked different. But uh I don't know. I just don't I don't I don't get what happened to Broner tonight. I really don't. And then of course, I mean there was just no sense of urgency like Broner uh I think there was like maybe 3 or 4 moments in the entire fight that he actually turned it up and tried to make, you know, anything happen. But I'll leave it at that. You know, my final thoughts basically you know, um, I expected a lot more out of Broner. I'm not incredibly impressed with Mikey Garcia. Eh, you know, eh. 
I'm just, you know, look, I mean, a lot of times I'll walk away from a fight and I'm like, you know, wow, yeah, you know, I'm all hyped up, but it's just, eh, you know, I'll just leave it at that. You know, so leave your comment below, guys. What do you think?